Hey, uh, this is a tutorial in in how to how to trace an image which was drawn in pencil and then colored in Corel Draw X3. So if you notice the uh, this picture here, you know it still has those pencil marks. So it's a scanned image. What we're gonna do here, we're going to color this one using uh, the Smart Fill tool. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to, you know, scan the sketch, of course, and then once it's scanned, you import it to Corel Draw, and then when you go to Bitmaps and click on Trace Bitmap, okay, so once you select the Bitmap and then click on Line Art, so in Line Art, as you notice here, uh, you have an option of, uh, okay, what kind of... Uh, like smoothing or detail do you want the uh, you want the drawing I just want to make this smaller it's difficult to see anyway here is the smoothing you can adjust the smoothing and the detail more detail means more lines and yeah so just play around here and the thing that I'm concerned is the colors here so when you click on colors these are the colors so if you click here in the object you would see that those gray are those pencil marks but it's really up to you if you want to make that as your effect but anyway you can always you know when you go to ops you can always decrease the numbers of color number of colors uh, say I'll go for six one six colors okay if I'm happy with that then I'll just click on OK here or apply okay now here's my okay now now this is already vectorized if you if you go to wire a view and then simple wireframe you would see that it's vectorized now right so now that's because we applied trace now we are now ready to you know you can also you know when you click here and then you click on ungroup all okay you can always delete the background now it's pure white now and then what we're gonna use here is the is the uh, the smart fill which is this one here smart fill tool so when you click on that one smart fill tool uh, options will come out here so for example here uh, you click on specify because you want to specify the color that you want to fill the object so I'm gonna look for a flesh color here uh, okay say for example that one okay now if I go in the middle of this one and then click here see you notice it's it fills the whole object which is closed right so this one same thing this one this one right now again I can go to say for example we're doing his shirt here I'm just going to get some random see colors okay so let's say they change the hat let's say uh, let's just make that over here okay then let's say the gloves this one put it in the center Uh, there so it's just like a coloring book but with this now now looking at this one here it's it's kind of stylized already it's from a scan a sketch and then scanned into Corel and then trace and then applied it with the smart feel right now you can still make this uh, quite realistic for example here when I click on this flash here I just move it over there just for you to see Okay, so it's separate objects. Now what I can do here, if I click on the plus sign in the keyboard, okay, now I have two objects now, right? So I'm going to make it black, okay, and I go to my transparency tool here, which is the wine glass, and then I click and drag. Okay, so I go to the other side. See, now I can, I can adjust the... 
the darkness of the uh, color now. So if I go move here, there. See what it can do? It can make a realistic uh, shadow because I use the transparency tool. So once again, like for example, this one, I, dub, I click on the plus sign. So I got two objects there. I'll make that black. And I click on my transparency tool. And then click and drag. You can adjust it after if you if you want to. So for example, here, oh, let's, should, it, should it be like this? Then I'll just oops there. Okay. Okay, so I got graduation there. So if you same as this one for the shirt, okay, make it black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add some shadows. Let's see. Okay, you can just play around with the transparency. It's a great tool because it's it makes one drawing quite realistic. There. And then <clears throat> if you don't want black, you can always change it. So if, for example, here, I want to make it dark brown because of the flesh. So I would go to, let's choose a color here. Or maybe we'll just choose a color from here. Okay, so because I'm making the darker tone of the of the flesh, I could say like that and then click OK. There, so you notice it's a different, same as this one here. I'll just go File, uh, Edit, Copy Properties From, and then click on Fill. Click OK and click here. There. Okay, so that's how you do it. Then I can also put a background, background color. Because since it's already a vector image, an object, so I can make that as, <clears throat> let me see here, Let's see that green. Okay, put the two back. And then I can remove the outline. And then I can also put transparency. There. It's pretty cool. So that's it for the tutorial. So scan your drawing, put it in Corel, and then trace it. And then put the smart fill, and duplicate the object, and put some transparency fill.